Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Thoughts of a Rambling Mind. And as y'all know, I don't uh, make videos unless something presses on my heart, and my heart is definitely pressed right now. Okay, so it's getting spooky, y'all. I just made a video. Now, the video that I made and put up and has been removed was a video about... Um, independence, financial independence. And it was about making yourself independent so you can be outside of the society. Um, it was removed because it violated YouTube's policy. Um, in the video, I was talking about my experience at work and how in New York City, it's been mandated that we all have this COVID-19 vaccine. So um, I tried to um, get religious exemption um, that was denied. I then tried medical exemption, but there are almost none. Um, so my boss calls me on Friday and tells me that if I don't have this shot by Monday, I will be out of a job. So grudgingly, I went to uh, get the shot the following day. Now this was, this story was the motivation for the video. The video was not about this story. Now, I don't know what I said in that last video that was a violation of YouTube policy, except for the fact that I said that I don't personally agree with the vaccine. Now, that's my personal view, and I'm not telling anybody to or not to take the vaccine. It's not even the purpose of the video. The purpose of the video is that I don't want to take it. And in being forced to take it, it made me realize how far behind I and most of my people are when it comes to financial security and financial stability. Because if I were truly financial secure, and truly financially stable, then I wouldn't be able to, uh, they wouldn't be able to force me to take this at the risk of forfeiting the ability to feed my children. Now, I recommended that people all get themselves to the level of financial security where you cannot be forced to do something against your will that you don't want to. I'm gonna try not to say that V word anymore because I think they've got some type of flagging mechanism. So I don't get a lot of views, y'all. Like I really don't get a lot of views. So I don't understand. And you know what's so crazy? I just put the video up and I didn't even put any tags under it. And it was removed. So I don't believe that there's a person listening to YouTube videos the algorithm is listening for keywords in the audio file and flagging it now the question is Is it a keyword or a key phrase? Or is it a keyword that flags it and does someone then go and look over the flag? No, because there'd be too many flags still. I don't understand it. Um, but what I can be sure about is I could get on here and say the N-word as many times as I want. 
I could talk about killing my own people. I could get my sisters up here and dress them half naked and let them shake their behinds on the, on the camera. But I can't tell my people to educate themselves, make themselves financially secure so that they'll never be in a position to be forced to do anything or take anything against their will. The key words in that sentence for whoever is watching these YouTube videos and taking them down is against their will. If it's their will to take whatever they want to take, and for me, that's legal or illegal, medical or uh, recreational, I think that's their choice. I don't I don't judge either way, and I don't encourage either way, and I don't discourage either way. I just speak my truth, and I thought in America we all had a right to do that. Now, I understand that this is not America, and YouTube is not protected by freedom of speech. But I just want the viewers to know that YouTube is not America, and YouTube is not protected by freedom of speech. My video was really flagged and taken down for violation of YouTube's usage. And they really have videos shot and filmed by Taliban and ISIS on YouTube right now. Whew. What is going on? Anyway, thoughts of a rambling mind. My mouth. Like, share, subscribe.